Hayes and Jibation! It's good to be here. Um, I have my mom with me today, and she has a special experience to share with you guys. You guys, I am so excited to be on Jackson's channel. I listen to all of his messages and I'm deeply touched by him every day. And when he asked me, I was like, I don't know what to share. I don't know what to share that could add to what he's already sharing. But the message my whole life, what keeps, I keep being reminded of is the simple message of trust Jesus, trust God. And we just came back from our huge trip, our huge backpacking trip. We posted our last video yesterday. And before we left, it was supposed to be 80 degrees, warm, which I love warmth. It was going to be sunny the whole time. Then as it got closer, it was going to be, instead of 80 degrees, go down to 30 degrees, raining all day. And the thought that just kept coming through me as I started getting panicked, like, oh my gosh, we can't handle this cold, was, it's okay, just trust Jesus. Bring more clothes. And then when I found out it was going to rain, the message came again, it's okay. Trust Jesus. Don't panic. Don't stress. Just trust Jesus. As we got there, we heard that there had been this big storm there and all these trees had blocked our path. And again, just trust Jesus. And as we went over each obstacle, and I kind of talked about this before, as we went over each obstacle, all of those obstacles made me trust Jesus more, which made it more of a beautiful experience. Because here we were, like, exploring and achieving more than we ever thought possible. I didn't know I could backpack in temperatures that cold. For us, it was so cold. And I didn't know that I could take my family on something that hard. And it was amazing to overcome it with Jesus. And in my whole life right now, you know, ever when we have these experiences that parallels to life that, you know, we've had some serious things come in um, with expenses, things that we were not expecting with car insurance, with taxes, with um, things that have fallen apart. I mean, just huge expenses. And I started to panic and think, oh, this isn't working well. And, and YouTube just deleted like three of our biggest videos. And it stresses you out, right? And I start to build up that anxiety and that stress. This comforting feeling just comes over me. It's okay. Trust me. Trust me, I got this. I have a perfect plan for you. It's like climbing over the trees. It's like fighting through that cold. It's like trudging through the rain. You're gonna come out stronger and you're okay and I'm gonna, I'm here with you. That is the message I get over and over and over again. It's okay, it's all right, you've got this. The obstacles made it so that she could trust Jesus more and it was just kind of proving it to herself that she could do it. We were just watching the Rocky movies and he found that when he was fighting for, to prove to himself that he could do it, then he did better. Whenever we have obstacles and things to overcome, and instead of just sitting back and saying, oh, that obstacle is too big for us to cross, you just go forward with faith and you'll prove to yourself that you can do it. It proves to God that you have faith in him and that he can help you through all things. Feels good to trust. Feels so much better to trust than to just sit and panic, because I've tried both ways, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried the panic way and it feels so much better to just, breathe and say it's okay everything's gonna be okay yeah. feels so yeah, much better sure. to just trust Abe came last week and he said oh I got more bad news and I was like oh and I felt a panic <laughs> start to settle in and then I was like nope you have to sometimes you have to remind yourself like a hundred times during the day because you'll feel the panic start to creep in you're like nope yeah. God's got this nope God's got this nope <laughs> I can do all things through Christ nope you're not gonna get me today so in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all the ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Just remember that if you trust God, then you'll know that you're not alone, and that he's there helping you. Can I just add one more thing as I was watching you, Jackson? I was thinking about you going on a mission, right? You know, as we think about how God is like, he says in the verse, um, just don't lean on your own understanding. Like, we've taught Jackson, Jackson, go on a mission because I know how much growth it's going to give you, how much you're going to grow closer to God, how much you're going to grow just serving others. It's hard. The mission is hard. So here I am as a mother willingly encouraging you to do this hard, hard thing when other teenagers your age are not doing stuff like that, right? Yeah. You're, they're going off, partying, going to school, having a great time. And 
I'm encouraging you to go do something hard, but that's because I know it's gonna make you into a better man, and I know you're gonna survive it. Not only survive it, you're gonna become this amazing human by what the lessons that you're learning. So I just feel like if I am willing to put you th through that obstacle, right, or encourage you, because you had to make that choice, encourage you to do this obstacle to become a stronger man, of course God is going to encourage us to pass through these obstacles to become stronger men and women. Spread, Spread sunshine. sunshine! God loves you!